it's O-Dark 30. It's actually 447, and I'm headed in. <laughs> Opening day rifle. Here we go.
exact same deer, I think. something. This is my setup. That was a good one. Hell yeah. I don't think I'm going to go down there and disturb the area. I do want to go see if that scrape is still active, but to be honest, it doesn't matter because I'm going to come back and sit in this stand anyway. So I'm not going to go down there. Time to go see about the cameras though. That was a great first morning. That deer read the script. It was just the wrong deer. A little button buck. I'm not gonna waste a buck tag on a little, little guy like him. If, I thought it was a doe at first. Alright, so thought I'd take a little break. Show you where I was at. Right down there. That's the corner that I was hunting. So I had to walk all this this morning. And then there's a fell down ladder stand right here. And then the only way to cross this little creek. Everybody in Arkansas calls it a bayou. I don't know what the difference between a creek and a bayou is, but I guess these are bayous. But anyways, I was doing the tightrope across this thing. In the pitch black this morning. Shit. I still don't like doing it now. Alright. I definitely didn't like doing it in the pitch black. Whoa, shoot. I don't like it one bit right now. Damn. Get off of this thing. Yeah. Alright. I don't like walking across fields that have been plowed up, but I'm doing just that. I left Big Willie back there. I'm going straight in, right up ahead here. I can turn the damn camera. I'm going this way to get my camera. I'm going to go straight to the, to the camera back there and take a look at the little reader. Got a little reader thing and then I got another camera up there so I want to pull those cards in fact I'll probably just pull the cameras down to be honest with you that way I don't have to come back to them I'm gonna get the intel I need right now and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna to do tonight I'm glad that's over location and I'm going to do a drag rag alright we're in the woods 
Here we go. That's a scrape, and that's a licking branch. Look at the size of this acorn. Well, I know this camera is working. Only 14 videos, though. I'm gonna say. All right, there wasn't anything good on the camera. A couple little spikes. Videos of me. So we're gonna just skip this whole little spot right here, and I'm gonna go that way and check the other camera. Now look at here. Just as sure as I say, we're gonna abandon this spot. Look at this fresh rub right here. I mean, he has bent that entire tree. That's a good deer that did that. And that doesn't look like it's that old either. You see all those frayed out pieces? That's a nice deer that did that. I mean, he bent that whole dang tree over. Look at that. I was ready to say this spot's not worth a darn. I mean, not really, because this is an amazing spot, but I meant like right here. Because my camera, what the hell, camera? My camera was on that tree right there. I had it facing right there. I should have had it. I'm all sort of tore up on that rub right there. It's literally right in front of the stand. That makes me want to come give that a try. But off to the next camera. I'm not sure what kind of acorns these are. Maybe like sawtooth. But that's the tree. That's the leaf. And it's got a full casing around the acorn. A good place to put the camera. All right, I just had some lunch. Got the cameras. One camera didn't have anything on it. The other one had one pretty good eight point and a couple of decent deer on it. And that's up on the northwest corner there. So, um, I don't know. I could go hunt that corner, but I think, I think I'm gonna stay down south. I'm gonna hunt the slough stand tonight. So it's another ladder stand. I haven't walked by it this time. So, I'm headed in. Here we go.